Okay, I got this soup. It's from Miss San Juan Bistro. I don't know. But it's like one of those like Vietnamese soups and I'm obsessed with it. Okay, good on her for trying new cultures food, but she doesn't even know the name of the soup. It's fine. So, but look how fun it is. And it's so delicious too. And now I can just like make my soup. No. I'm sorry, but she does kind of rub me the wrong way because she's just treating it like, oh, it's fun. I'm trying a new dish, but you're not attempting to learn about the culture behind it. Imagine being this upset or disappointed in someone because they are trying a new dish. Bro, she is upset about a noodle dish. That is it. That sounds absurd to say. They made a video being disappointed about how someone ate noodles. What planet am I on? Oh no! Oh, gringe! First of all, the name of the bistro you got it from doesn't even sound like the name of a Vietnamese restaurant. San Juan, like she clearly does not know how to pronounce anything. I don't even think she mentioned the name of the dish, which if anyone is not familiar with that dish, it is pho. So I wanted to see kind of what was the actual sort of typical names you would find with like, you know, I don't know, Vietnamese food. And there's one here just called the House of Ho, which obviously isn't how we're going to interpret it. But I mean, come on. <laughs> I know you just think it's a fun experience, but learn the culture behind it. Learn about pho, because there are literally restaurants devoted to pho. And she's, okay, I don't care if I'm white and I'm saying this. She's just a white girl just eating regular food and being like, oh, it's so much fun, but... There's restaurants in England devoted to making fish and chips. I don't care how you eat it. I don't think anyone cares. They eat fish and chips. The culture behind it was someone got a fish, they were hungry, and they fried it and threw some chips on it. <laughs> what, what else do you want to say? I don't know. Is that just me be boring? But yeah, that's... What? Don't even get me started on how the culture of milk came around. Some dude just grabbed a cow titty and milked it. And then the dude drank it. That's the culture behind milk, it what? That's probably not the exact story you would tell people, but I mean, if you really break it down, that's that's kind of what happened. This isn't cultural appropriation, but this should be a form of cultural appreciation because she should realize and appreciate that she's trying a new culture, new culture's dish, and be like, oh, all she said was, it's from this Vietnamese restaurant, like, don't eat the food if you don't really care to learn about it, like... <clears throat> Shut up. She just looked kind of silly, because she was just, like, playing with her food. No food is going to come deconstructed to where you have to put everything together like that. Nothing wrong with her, just... The way she put together the food was just kind of weird to me. It was just very strange. You know what? You are absolutely right. No food is going to come deconstructed like that. Imagine being in a restaurant and you order a steak and they just bring out a cow and leave it there. Can you imagine having to say something about it? It would go something like this. Hello, monsieur, what seems to be the problem? Hi, yeah, I hate to complain, but I asked for a steak and you guys literally just brought out a cow and left it here. <laughs> oui, oui. Everyone just wants to try and gatekeep so many things nowadays, and it's just so unnecessary. If someone wants to try something which isn't necessarily in their culture, they should be encouraged to try and do it, because that's how you get, like, I don't know, a broader horizon on just general stuff in life, because if you just stick to the same thing, you're not going to know anything else, and you're just going to become, I don't know, kind of ignorant to a lot of stuff. It's good to try new things. I don't know what this woman's problem is, but she needs to get in the bin. We're actually going to be coming back to this woman, because there is another clip of her, and her just talking about something which is just completely stupid. But in the meantime, let's just have a look at another cringy video. Just to, you know, break up the complete stupidity of this video. Oh boy, watch out guys, he's got great skin, he's also a boxer, and drinks vodka like it's water. Hmm, I honestly don't know why, but those two things might be a really bad combination. Apparently this kid has only ever lost one fight and it was against a good haircut, would you believe that? Like, I can just totally imagine that's what a requirement is for when someone wants to hire you as a bodyguard. You've got to have great skin, because if you're just some acne-riddled McDonald's grease-trapped teenager over here, yeah, I don't want you protecting me. Get out of here. Get in the bed. Oh no! Gringe! Well, 
that can go on the list of things that I just did not need to see today. I actually apologize for showing that to you guys. I mean, I don't know what this guy is doing. He even captioned the video saying, sorry. This has 1.4 million likes. How? If I ever made a video like this, I don't think I could ever leave my house comfortably without thinking that I made this video and that a lot of people probably saw it. Okay, enough of whatever that was. Let's get back to this other woman who, who apparently just can't seem to take a joke. How do you get a fat girl to sleep with you? I don't know either, but it's probably a piece of cake. So, I'm making this video again because TikTok decided to take it down for violating their violating their community guidelines, which there was nothing wrong with the first video. And I'm going to address the comments in that last video because the comments did not uh, they did they were not good. The comments were about, "Oh, well, he was just making the joke about it's a piece of cake." But that's not jokes are supposed to be funny. How is that a funny joke? Now, I know some people can probably be a little bit sensitive to this topic or they can feel a little bit insecure. And you know what, that, that, that's fair enough. But at the same time, like, you know, everyone has insecurities and some of the things you've got to be able to just laugh at because, you know, no one can seem to take a joke anymore or just generally laugh at themselves. Everyone always feels attacked. For me personally, literally for the past week on TikTok, I have just seen British teeth video memes like this. The thing is, they're actually pretty funny. Yeah, they're aimed at me because obviously I'm British, haha. <laughs> we have bad teeth and we drink tea. But you know, it's funny just to laugh at yourself. That's basically saying that big girls only respond to one thing and that's food. And why would we want, why would us plus size women or bigger women want a man like that? That thinks that all we're good for is sex. Wait, hang on a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, no, I thought we were talking about cake. When, when was this ever brought up? What? Point again from this video. If I get any comments again, like the last video, saying, oh, it was just a joke. You need to chill out. First of all, if you are not a woman and you're not part of the big girl community, I don't want anybody speaking on this because if it does not apply to you, then you have no right to speak on it. I don't want to come on this video and deny people on what they can feel insecure about because that's you, you know? But everyone has insecurities, I can guarantee you that. And I am fully aware that weight is a huge issue for a lot of people and I'm aware it can bother them, but being able to laugh at something is a great way to get control over something that is bothering you. I mean, if I could eat anything I wanted to and be a chubs, I absolutely would. But the health problems that come with it absolutely outweigh any benefit of it. I'm already type 1 diabetic, and I don't want to add anything onto the growing list of issues I'm dealing with. I mean, if there's anything I can say to help people with any insecurities they're dealing with or just how they look, honestly, no one cares how you look. How often do you think about someone else unless you have a thing for them? Exactly, you don't. I mean, no one cares really how anyone looks. As long as you are happy, that is all that matters. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all next time.